Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with a very interesting game that I was offered. I've basically got a beta test of this, and I would put it, let's see, about 20 years ago, I used to play a game, the only multi-massive online game-playing game, whatever, what do you call those darn things, <laughs> the only one I ever played and the only one I ever liked, because I've tried quite a few. And it was called City of Heroes. And it was one even my wife loved to play. We used to play it together. As we had our own characters. My children played. It was an awesome game. And I don't know, due to some kind of legal issues and stuff like that, the game disappeared and people still loved it and it was still popular. But apparently they came out with a new game. It's not by Cryptic Studios, which started the other one. This is by a completely new set of developers. I don't know much about them. I just know that they must have liked the original because from what I can tell, this looks like City of Heroes. Only well, now it's called Ship of Heroes. Now, the best I understand is that the ship in question is actually a city in space that has all kinds of people living in it and it's like 20 miles in area and you're fighting aliens but you have a superhero that you can create that's what we're going to start off here doing i'm really interested to see how this plays out guys we're going to go ahead and create a new character but this looks so much like the original yep we got the tank the brawler the devastator the support controller that's all the same that's all the same tanks are usually big guys take hits from the team by using their melee powers to taunt enemies into attacking them instead of their more fragile teammates. Tanks have defensive primary power sets and offensive secondary power sets. They do moderate damage and are very tough. Brawlers of course are the fighters. They wade into fights and deal large amounts of melee damage to groups of enemies. Brawlers have offensive primaries and defensive secondaries, the reverse of tanks. They do high damage and are moderately tough. Devastators, those are your high-powered individuals. They launch powerful range attacks at enemies while remaining out of range of enemy retribution. Devastators have offensive primaries and support secondaries. They do the highest damage and have moderately effective buffs designed to give them the ability to survive short but very intense fights. Support, those are the healers, basically. Quite very, they heal and buff their teammates from a distance, keeping themselves out of range of powerful enemies. They support their support characters, they support primary and offensive secondaries. They do moderate damage and are excellent at making their allies more powerful and keeping team well, I would imagine it says safe. Can't get all of it. No. Can't get the screw down. Sorry about that. Let me just try it. There it goes. Let's keep team alive, okay. And controllers. They specialize in controlling, manipulating those around them through mesmerization, stuns, and other mechanisms. Yeah, and the last time I played, I played a controller. And my wife played a devastator. She was a firepower being. Mine used mind manipulation. But we have all kinds of cool stuff here, guys, we can work with. I'm not sure what to start off with, guys, but... I think I might go with a brawler because that's usually a nice all-around one to start off with. So let's go with that. Our primary power sets. We've got Firely Melee, Street Sweeper. It does tell you what they what they do. 
street sweepers is things like using guns and free shots. Fire powers. We've got martial arts. Twin swords. Spears. So this is more of your Deadpool, Batman types. <laughs> street fighting. And sword and shield. I think it might be interesting to do firepowers because I did do that. Well, my wife did that. And they were kind of fun, actually. Let's go ahead and stick with that. And we need to choose our powers. Let's see. Blast all enemies. Fire sword. Create a sword of fire and stab a single enemy. It looks like we can select one of two. So we got a heat wave. Okay. Let's see, we got determination, vulnerability, fiery defense, and unobtainium luck. <laughs> Let's see. Determination, high pain tolerance, iron will, rapid clotting, burst of speed, and vulnerability. Fiery defense. Let's keep it fiery here, guys. Consuming increases your regeneration rate. That might be good to have. Oh, I can select two. Well, let's select this one, too. Well... Alright, let's see here. We've got a big, big guy. Big, thick-looking man. We've got a regular-looking guy. And we got a female. Now, if I remember correctly, my wife had originally played a female. And she had an all-red suit. I kind of like to go with that again. I like the way she had set it up. Let's see here. You can do all kinds of stuff to set them up, looks like. But you can set up a random head, a random body. Let's try the random body. And it's going to be too hard to deal with. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to get this part of it set up. And then I will bring you back. Alright guys, I am back. I think we have our character. Done a lot of tweaking. There's a ton of stuff you can do to the bodies. But this is her from a distance, and this is her face close up. I kept with the blue eyes. I wanted them to be a little bit piercing, but not too eerily. And her eyes originally seemed a little far apart. I didn't go with anything fancy like pointed elf ears or anything like that. Or you can do alien type characters, and they can have even the fox looking ears, but I didn't want to mess with all that kind of kept her straightforward but basically you can see how blue her eyes are so let's go ahead and get out here we are at this point now going to the costume I believe so costume sets so you can pick all the way up to the head it looks like I want to try to get the color scheme linked. That much I do know. You used to be able to do that before. Now I'm going to pick a random costume to start off with just to see what we get. Yeah, no. She fi has fire capabilities, so we want something kind of... No, not anything there I really like so far. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to look through this, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff we can do here. All this stuff. Business suits. And field jackets. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna end up having to leave here again and try to find something that I like. And hopefully the sound isn't too loud, but I haven't figured out how to adjust the sound levels yet. Anyway, I will bring you back, guys. 
All right, guys, we are back, and here she is. It took me a while to come up with this, but it is an intricate costume with lots of details. It integrates all of my favorite colors, black and deep red. It also goes with her power set. Let's take a look at her a little bit closer. This is the shirt. It has all kinds of weave and Looks like it might have hidden gadgetry and stuff like that, maybe. The boots, very practical. Yeah, they don't have the high-heeled stilettos anymore like they did in the original game. <laughs> but she has actually armor to help protect her. And we're going to keep her head pretty much uncovered. There's all kinds of hoods and hats and masks and stuff like that, but I just want to keep her with her normal look if I can. All right, she is a brawler. She has 100 health, 100 energy, security level 1, no XP yet, XP needed to move on. I think what we have to do at this point is we have to jump into the world and register and see what happens from there, guys. All right, I'm going to have to give her a name. I'm not sure what that's going to be, but I think I'm going to call her... Gosh. Well, in my original game, I called her Salome. That seems to be one of my choice things to select. Like I said, she's a brawler. Health is 100. Energy is 100. These are her powers for our sword, heat wave, consume, and fiery aura. Catchphrase. Oh gosh, what could I use for a catchphrase? <laughs> Some of this stuff we may have to come back and enter. Yeah, let me think for a minute, guys. Again, I'll bring you back. Alright, guys, I am back. Yes, I came up with a catchphrase. I'm not sure how good this is, actually, but it's not bad. Let's heat things up. A beautiful but deadly heroine with fire creation and absorption, absorption capabilities takes a punch but delivers an even bigger punch. I think that sounds pretty good. At least that's a start. I don't know if we can go back and edit these, but I'm hoping that we can. Alright, I guess we can try to enter the world, guys. Let's see what happens. Would you like to name and create this character? Yes, I do. There she goes. I mean, Salome is not exactly the quintessential quintessential name but it's the one I used in the past I really enjoyed her and the one character my wife had used now my wife was using a devastator I believe so this is a brawler a little bit different decided that instead of going with more mental capabilities and distance shots to go in the thick of things. I might decide to create another character, but since this is the beta testing, I figured I might as well go safe. Oh wow, it does look a lot like what we had originally. It says Ship of, Ship of Hero News. Welcome to Ship of Heroes. The year is 2487. You are a new hero, recently graduated from the Academy, arriving in Apothesis City aboard the free human ship Justice. Explore the city and enjoy the view or speak to the ambassador on the steps of City Hall to begin your adventure. One mission arc is open for you. The rest of the game is not accessible at this time. Mm. That's because we're just testing this out. After accepting the mission, find the mission location by following the yellow 3D marker. Using the compass or pressing M for expanded map and hovering over the icons. While the game is currently being polished and finalized at shipofheroes.com. Welcome offers a quick guide while we finish making the launch day tutorial, a list of tools to facilitate, facilitate video capture, a contact form for requests, comments, and bug reports. It's known bugs if you crush get a message containing VT just log back in we are tracking down the cause of this known intermittent bug okay this does look a lot like the original guys a lot like the original city of heroes 
cases. Welcome, hero. Speak to the ambassador in front of the city hall to choose a department. All right, I guess we just hit X. There she is. <laughs> and there's somebody. There's the ambassador right there. How do we talk? Okay, mission journal. Sit. Let's see. Speak to ambassador. We'll set it active. Welcome hero. All new heroes are instructed to speak to the ambassador. Okay, let's see. Interface. System. So we can change the screen brightness, sounds. Let's take the sound volume down a little bit here. Okay, I'm sure that's got to be better, guys. Yeah, some things we can't do yet. Let's see, sound effects, enable pet sounds, enable sound. I think I might take the music down just a little bit more. Okay, how do I talk? Well, I might want... Might be a good idea to check our key bindings. Move forward, move backward, move left, jump, crouch, interact. F is interact. Sheath, unsheath weapon. Can toggle auto run, that's the middle mouse button. Just trying to make sure there's nothing. Zoom out, zoom in, recenter view, home. Okay. Apparently, you can use. Game pads with this, so this is definitely going to be with other things. Badge window, character window, inventory, eye. So it looks like everything. I guess we'll learn it as we go, guys. I don't know. Let's see here. Normally, I'd tell you about all the problems heroes like us are working to solve, but today, I want you to visit my friend Iris the Great. She's having trouble dealing with the political schemes of some evil mages, and she needs your help. Good luck. Okay, so F is the big thing. Now this turns very quickly, so it's going to take a little getting used to. So to mage, we need to go this way. God, this seems so familiar. See, you got our markers there. That makes it kind of easy. I'm just getting used to the controls. It's very sensitive. Moves around pretty good. I tell you, I used to be able to play on all kinds of different levels of uh, gaming computers and non-gaming computers. When I played City of Heroes, I'm hoping this is the same thing, because I would love for my wife to be able to play this as well. Now, in the original game, as you gained abilities and progressed up levels, you got new powers, you added new powers. Eventually, you get to, like, level 14, and you could get a transportation power, like flight, super jumping, super speed, stuff like that. Whoa. Okay. See, these are just non-player characters you can't really do anything with. I don't think. Let me see if I can talk to somebody. I don't think you can. No, can't do anything with them. Well, let's just keep our mission going here. One thing I want to take a look at here. How? Yeah, you can zoom way in. You can zoom almost behind her. I kind of like that split cape. That's kind of cool. It's different. I wanted her to have a cape, but I wanted her to not it not be just so cumbersome. And I think that fits the bill. I wonder if she'd get hit by a car. <laughs> yeah, in the original game you run across bad guys everywhere you go, so And they were based on your level. You didn't get 
into trouble with anything really big, which you couldn't outdo. At least had a shot. Alright, we're almost to this Iris person. Yep. Cars are flying cars and they can't hurt you. Mage's Guild, okay. Let's see. Alright, we hit F and we get in. Okay, we are here and this is a really cool looking place. <laughs> like I said, this is unlike the old one, which was more like a metropolis type location. This is a spaceship and we've got a lot of aliens and things like that we interact with apparently. Oh, this is so cool. God, this brings back memories. It does still seem very familiar. Okay, this is the lady I gotta talk to, apparently. Iris the Great. She's like a level... What can I do for you? Let's see. Storing missions? Welcome to our great library. What do you need? I'm looking for work. You came at the right time. Honest mages make a lot of money selling valuable magic items, but the Red Sigil have just opened a black market selling illegal and highly dangerous ones. I'd like you to shut down the black market and confiscate any dangerous items you find. Bring them directly back to me. Okay, let's get a little information here. What's the Red Sigil? A cabal of selfish, elitist mages. They want to replace me as Archmage. Take over the ship in a quiet coup and install a mageocracy. Many seem to think that superheroes will accept them as a natural ruling class. They would lose that fight, of course, but with terrible casualties on all sides. That's awful. You came at the right time. Honest mages make a lot of money selling valuable magic items, but the Red Sigil have just opened a black market selling illegal and highly dangerous ones. I'd like you to shut down the black market and confiscate any dangerous items you find. Bring them directly back to me. Okay, tell me more. The Red Sigil are usually quite hard to catch, but lately they've been getting bolder. Not only are they tempting other mages to join the Red Sigil, a lot of what they're selling is going to other evil groups on planets we visit. I see. You came at the right time. Honest mages right, make right. a lot of money selling valuable magic items. A cabal of sell- You came at the right time. Look for anything that glows with a purple aura. Okay, I didn't want her to repeat herself again. You came at the right time. Honest mages make a lot of money selling right, valuable I magic got it, items. I got it. <laughs> but the Red Sigil have just opened a black- Thank you. They are located in a nearby office building. So, finish. And then we gotta go to- the black market. So we gotta look for something out of the purple ore. Okay. Well, I'm not a mage. I'm just a. I'm a fighter. I love the way the doors just open. That's pretty cool. So I gotta go out this way. Okay. So that's where we need to go. This is our mini map. And I think if we hit map, yeah, M, that'll pick us up. And what are these? Okay, so that's specific things that we could visit. Microtransit actions entrance. Power trainer. I don't know what that is yet. Power trainer. Officer Rick. Winter League Recruit. Yeah, they used to have, um, like, hero clubs or whatever in the original game, too. What is this? Spore Blossoms Control Center. Okay, I don't know what that is. Like I said, there's a lot to learn here, but I have a feeling I'm going to love every minute of this. 
I really, really loved the original game. My god, it was a lot of fun. I used to spend hours and hours and hours playing it. All my kids played it. Some of the characters they used to create were pretty weird looking sometimes. <laughs> they come up with some <laughs> crazy combinations. Alright, we gotta come here then. Not all enemies get along. Prometheans and Red Sigil mages famously hate each other. Okay. Don't shoot. We're not paid enough to fight heroes. We're always supposed to stop customers from stealing the goods. Go right on up. Well, your acting capabilities are pretty poor. <laughs> uh, we're not supposed to shoot. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So, what? I need to what? I need to go in here. I guess I... Just kind of trying to look around to see what's going on here. I'm getting a little bit of lag issues going on there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be bugs. I mean, this is... Let's see. Microtransaction. Defeat the Red Sigil members. Initiate, Acolyte, Overseer, Master, Fusion Seller, Incense Seller. Optional, secure the illegal items. View Mission Journal. Okay. See, do I have to save anything or just keep going? Looks like I just keep going. Okay, and you can go into the character creator, which means I probably could add to my description if I wanted to. So what am I supposed to do here? Fusion Vendor, level 1 neutral. So that's how I linked up to them. These infusions don't look very safe. Oh, it'll be fine. I used one last week. Uh, you don't have a weak soul, do you? So he's a seller, huh? How am I supposed to interact with him then? Sure, I'm trying to figure out how I do this. Oh, okay. yourself or teleport to safety. Well, I didn't know exactly what I was doing. How do I... Okay, how do I fight? Oh, okay, I have to click on these down here. Resurrect. I'm not sure how, how I'm supposed to fight, fight yet. Oh, I can fly! Holy crap! 
I can fly right off the bat. Super speed, I already have. Okay, that is cool. Teleport. Resurrect. Plasma shot. Okay, I have no idea. That's. I was sitting there trying to use my mouse buttons to do something. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Teleport to a safe location. Well, it looks like I got my energy back. Super speed. One second cooldown dramatically increases movement speed. Fly at high speed. Well, let's go ahead and try fly here. That is cool. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing, guys. I just... See, that's a problem. I don't know where the targets are. Okay, that must be a target there. You're in danger, so I did take him out, but there's too many of them at the moment, so I gotta let myself heal. Yeah, see, I'm not very powerful yet, but I did get one red signal, signal acolyte. That's how you do You just click on these down here. These are kind of like your powers. All right. Nice. Somebody offered me a teleport, so I'm not... That might be actually helpful, because that's somebody else playing the game. Who teleported me? Yeah, there is going to be other people playing this game. So I don't know who helped me. Hmm. Well, that was nice then. <laughs> well, I guess we gotta keep... Let me see something about the flying ability. Okay, I see. Got him to fly. You have to position yourself in the right direction. Oh, this is awesome. This is so cool. Yes, I love it. Let me try super speed here, guys. Yeah, we are the flash. <laughs> oh, this is. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, I love it. Yeah, I love this. I always love these games. It takes me no time to get there. Alright. Well, let's take this. 
Take super speed back off. Let's go back in here and give it one more try here. Yeah, we gotta learn our capabilities. And, I, and apparently, once they get the full thing loaded, they're gonna have a tutorial that you can go through. Might make it a little easier. Don't shoot. We're not paid enough to fight heroes. We're always supposed to stop customers from stealing the goods. Go right on up. Okay, so we've... Defeat the Reds. Oh gosh, I had to... It's like I had to start over. Oh man. These infusions don't look very safe. Got one signal initiate, and they're not gonna make this easy. See, that's a master over there, so we might want to pick off the weak guys first. And we don't have a that's a mage student. out an initiate and an accolade. Okay, there's another one bites the dust. Teleported to safety again as we heal ourselves. Okay, we got three red signal initiates down. He's got some health issues now, so we can... Okay, we got one somewhere around here. It's a mage student. There we go, we got one. Okay, we're 
We're not doing too bad, guys. We're not doing too bad at all. Let's get a little more of our health back. There we go. That's how we do it. Rune and Dissolving. I don't know what that did, but that seemed to have helped. Okay, our health is getting back up. Yeah, it's... I wonder if there's a way... Okay, these do not... Yeah, they do... You can press your buttons, too. It'll work the same way, so... This one is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, so... It might actually be better than trying to click on them. Alright, let's see if we can't find the other bad guy here. We got five, seven, four, seven. We need to beat a master. They're tough. We did complete one of those. You didn't think they'd make it easy. Yeah, the master I barely affected, but we're gonna have to do better than that. There he is. Why do I keep... Signal Master's got a lot of hit points. And he's recovering quickly. Okay, we got rid of that guy. Heat wave takes a while to completely recover from. This guy's going to be a pain in the butt. No, I had to start over. Got the signal master. He's down. Okay. Well, looks like we've almost completed this, guys. I think we took out the toughest one, and that was the master. So we need to find the ones that are red. this I'm 
supposed to do something with this. Let's see. I'm supposed to do something with these purple things, but I can't seem to make anything happen. See? I'm supposed to somehow take them, but I don't know how. Ah, you gotta right click them. That's how you do it. Oh, I'm in first person. That's cool. That's how I pick stuff up. Said so anything's purple. Kind of like being in first person. This makes it a little more. And everything the smoke reaches will be lethal to touch for months. Don't breathe it in, obviously. Good. At that price, I can afford... What was that noise? Okay, he's down. That's the last Cigna... Cellar. Yeah, I'm a little bit better doing this. Okay, there's a bit of a learning curve here, guys. Needle membranes, magical contraband. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Is this magical? It's just purple. It's just purple. Yeah, it's a little easier for me to do this in first person. I don't know how I got myself in first person. I think I just, yeah, I just got close enough to myself. This is another. You gotta be close enough. Okay. What? What is this? Healing pack gained 26 dust, whatever that means. <laughs> I need to feed two more acolytes and two more initiates. More magical contraband. Little robot dude. Keep looking at everything. It's a lot easier to do this in first person, that's for sure. And it looks like we've just about got all the goods. Okay, he's a neutral dude. Pistol, magical contraband. Looks like I might have to go upstairs to finish this. I don't know. Like I said, I am learning, but it would definitely help if we had some kind of tutorial. Ah, there he is. And we got another one down, I think. Yep, we do. Here we go. I 
Well, maybe there isn't one. Yeah, if you don't see the little thumb, that's not... It's not contraband. And this one is... Ten, so I gotta find one more. I'm looking, I'm looking, guys. what's back here. Maybe it's back in this area. What the heck was that? Yeah, that was not good. Ah, we got another bad guy over here. He's down. So we still have one of each. Those are like mobs. We gotta get out of the way. Ah, here we go. 35 dust. That's all about. There's a skeleton in there. I can't seem to find the. All right, guys, I am back. I don't know what happened, but. Somehow or another, I got kicked out, and it actually completely shut my computer down. So there's definitely some bugs in this. I mean, it's got the potential. It's got the chops that it used to have, but I don't know. I can't go through all, put you all through that all over again, but at least you got a good look at it. Again, this is a beta testing, so there's going to be problems. There's going to be bugs. There's going to be issues. It's just the nature of the game, but I'm still having a great time with this because, I mean, you used to have to get to a certain level to be able to fly. I don't know if that's going to be in the full game or not, but I'm not sure how teleports work. I guess you hit teleport, and then a teleport is offered, accept it. Yeah, see, the thing is, you have to stay in this location. Otherwise, you have to start over the start the mission over. So the only place you can do is you can teleport to this spot right here, and it'll give you time to recover. But I just went through all that, <laughs> and I'll have to do it again. But I think what I might do is I might try to do that off screen, and in the next look at this, I think we'll see where we can go from there. But if it locks up on me again, I'll let you know, guys. But at this point, that it wasn't just like it locked up and it kicked you out of the game. I mean, I got the blue screen of death. I mean, big time, big time problem. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this first look at Ship of Heroes. And until the next look, I will see you next time. And as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.